Hello everyone, Bridget Patton with Soul Massages here to talk again about the Healy. And in this video, I'm gonna share a little bit about how I use it for my personal development within my own life and the relationships with my family, as well as uh, the coaching sessions that I do with my clients. So I actually have the resonance version of the Healy. And the resonance version gives you the opportunity to do um, any number of scans on your body that they have um, in the Healy program of the resonance. So for example, the Alaskan gem elixirs comes up as uh, crystals. So if you're really into working with crystals, you can have your body scan and see which ones your energy field are asking for. Uh, same with the Schussler cell salts. If you're not familiar with cell salts, I highly recommend you um, checking into that. And there's actually going to be a link in the video for that as well. Um, the uh, aura scan or the aura analysis goes really deep into what the color of your aura uh, is giving biofeedback of. And there's a description in the aura analysis uh, that is very succinct in communicating what's going on and how the energy is being used in the energy field. Now, the way that I use that in my coaching sessions and with the emotional intelligence and in conjunction with the gene keys, which again, you can find out more information in various locations on my website. And also I'll uh, pop a link in there uh, as well if you want to explore that more and see what gene keys are. So when I'm working with the Healy device, I'm using the gene keys and I'm using the aura uh, analysis to see what uh, dialogue is coming up in the energy field. What is, how's the energy be, being used from um, a belief system standpoint? And another way that I like to look at it is what thread, what karmic thread in humanity's consciousness are we working on right now in our energy field? Because all of us have certain initiations that we need to go through in the evolution of our consciousness and the, um, the maturity of our spiritual journey. And these certain specific descriptions are very uh, potent. They penetrate through a lot of um, the subconscious, uh, I guess, um, protective mechanisms that we have because we're, we can feel very vulnerable uh, and we need to we pr like end up protecting ourselves. And so we uh, may not be able to see these things, but when they're being uh, communicated and we're working through them in a session, it really allows for us to have, you know, the feeling of acceptance and conviction of how we're spending our energy. It's almost like a you know, a child on your shoulder, like mom, mom, mom. And then you look over and you're like, what? And they're like, I love you. And they are looking for some acknowledgement. They want some sort of connection. So they know sometimes there's other ways that they will also get your attention. <laughs> um, but they want that kind of connection. And so they're looking maybe for a higher vibration. So they just want uh, to, to feel that love feeling from you. Uh, when I'm looking at someone's aura analysis, I'm reading back with unconditional acceptance because all of these subjects that come up, all of these belief systems that come up are things that A, I've already worked through myself and had unconditional acceptance and released a lot of attachment around what that might mean for me and how I'm spending my energy and now can pass that imprinting uh, energy. It's almost like when you put two phones next to each other and they're sharing data or even um, information being translated and shared through email. It's the same thing, but our nervous systems, our parasympathetic nervous systems are communicating with each other because we're doing, you know, a Zoom call and we're, you know, going over the analysis together and it allows for a level of acceptance and biofeedback uh, that I learned from the horses in my equine guided learning um, training programs and, you know, sessions, hundreds of hours and thousands of hours, I'm sure, of horse sessions I've done with clients and friends and family and my own 
and that biofeedback that's from that nervous system of just pure unconditional love and what is unconditional love and acceptance and feeling someone communicating with you about these belief systems and how your energy is being spent can really um, move a lot of energy in the body, move a lot of energy that has been, you know, backed up or not processed because, you know, there isn't an understanding of it or, you know, there, there's just bombardment of external stimuli. And so when we're working together, we're doing these sessions, we go through these belief systems and we have an opportunity to let go of the things that uh, we may be judging about ourselves or that we may be having uh, some sort of expectation of ourselves that we don't even realize. We're carrying things around with us that we can't see, but it's energetically speaking to the world. And when we communicate together about that, it allows for your system to digest how energy is being spent. And then you can choose from that point forward, you know, have acceptance around it like this. Yes, this is how I'm spending it. Do I want to continue spending it this way moving forward? Sometimes it's yes. Sometimes there's an awareness of it. And it's like, oh, I just needed to have acknowledgement that this is how I'm spending my energy, but this is the highest purpose for me to be spending my energy this way. Or this is how I'm spending my energy. And, you know, I see that that's really actually draining me and making me defensive. And I can be more open um, and vulnerable and know that spirit is going to, in turn, inevitably, um, draw in people from those other frequencies for you to encounter. And as your perception changes and evolves, and as the energy moves through your body, you're able to draw in those relationships and create more intimacy with the people that um, are of that same frequency, of that same language or understanding or hobby that you may have. So that is how I use the Healy in my personal development, uh, coaching sessions, and in my own family and life. If you have any deeper questions about this or you want to hop on a call or a consult with myself or my team, uh, just click on one of the links below and we will set up a time to connect. Thank you so much. I love you. And I'll see you in one of the next videos.